गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ओके सो ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल रीजन द वर्चुअल लैब इज नॉट वर्किंग ओके सोन इट विल गेट रिकवर्ड so in today's class i am going to use google collab okay and i am going to show you uh, the program which i have left incomplete in yesterday's class just a minute okay so you can also use google collab to run your python uh, programs so here also some uh, libraries will be available by default okay some uh, standard libraries will be available by default otherwise if you want means you can install your own library okay for everyone this google collab is free only so simply if you are going and typing uh, google collab means it will automatically redirect to you to one page it will ask whether you want to create one new uh, notebook or you want to upload the notebook here in this case i have uploaded the yesterday's uh, notebook uh, python notebook i have uploaded okay so in this only i am going to uh, show the output so as a first step we know we have to import the matplotlib and uh, pandas okay here same shortcut you can use like you can use uh, shift plus enter or in the left hand side itself if you see means you can see one play button like that it is showing right uh, so this will help to run this particular cell okay or you can use control plus enter or shift plus enter okay then if you see in the second cell you may be seeing one new code which is like from google.collab import files and then i have given upload is equal to files dot upload so why i have used this these two lines is because we are going to import the csv file into our drive okay this will import temporary basis only okay if you want to upload any file csv file or any file you want to upload into your google collab means you can use this code okay we are having uh, another one uh, code also is there instead of uh, importing files you can import drive also suppose your file is already available in google drive means then you can use drive okay you can import drive and then you can import the path from your drive okay so if i run this particular uh, cell means it will ask choose files okay so i am going to click this option okay and i am selecting the data set dot csv file okay when i give open means it will start uploading the csv file into our google collab okay so once it has been uploaded mean in the right left hand side you will be seeing one folder icon so if i click that folder icon means you can able to see dataset.csv file okay this is one way or you can directly drag and drop into this particular location also but uh, once this session has been closed again if you are opening this particular uh, google collab means this particular file will not be available okay it will store it in temporary basis if you want to store the data set in permanent basis means you have to store it in the google drive okay not directly in google collab then so i'm once you have imported means it will work like a normal directory how you will be importing a data set is equal to panda dot read csv file data set dot csv okay so these steps are going to be same okay and i can print the shape of my data set then what are all the columns present in my data set and i can create a scatter plot using the pandas then head value see here some additional formatting option also available okay so if i click that means it will create some uh, special formatting okay so these are some of the advantage of uh, using google collab when i teach the deep learning concept sometimes i use the google collab also because uh, data set will be very huge uh, okay and we may be needing the use of uh, gpu graphical processing unit and all if you need means uh, in your normal system it will not be available 
even in virtual lab also it will not be available in that case uh, this google collab will provide you the feature of gpu support also okay that also i will teach you not for virtualization we use gpu for uh, processing uh, the speed process okay huge data is there means uh, that time when you are using in cpu means it will take lot of time to complete the process okay that that is when we go for this gpu okay then we have seen label encoding method so label encoding means it will convert uh, all the values to zero i mean binary value or the numeric value from string value so that also we have seen so once we have converted means here instead of in the gender section instead of showing us male and female it will show 0 and 1 okay then no need of mapping so as a next step we have to fit the uh, data set using the hierarchical clustering so as i have previously told i am going to give number of cluster as 3 that is where we are seeing right initially i have given 3 and later on i have increased it to 5 to see the output okay and then i have given the distance uh, uh, method as equilibrium distance and the linkage as average linkage method okay so that cell also i will run okay so that process also completed now only like in previous class we got the error so to avoid this error first uh, um, okay let me directly go to this line okay no need of this also let me comment this okay so x is equal to data set of i log all the rows i am taking and only the third and fourth column i am going to take and those values i am going to take okay since i have taken a cluster as three so what i have to do i have to create like plt so plt if i am using means i am using the matplotlib method okay so plt dot scatter capital x okay and then y mean should be equal to equal to zero okay and then comma again i am going to give zero this is going to be my x value and then same for uh, y just i'll just copy paste so zero 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 one okay and i can specify the size so i'm just specifying it as 50 okay any number you can give and then color okay different color i am going to give to differentiate each cluster okay so color i am giving it as purple and i am going to label it as cluster one okay so this is going to be my first cluster right then again for second and third cluster also I have to do the same thing so i'm just again copy paste it only change i have to do is here i have to give one okay and here also one and instead of giving purple uh, another color like orange i'm giving and i'm naming it as cluster two what will happen okay so let me put it in next line so that okay so this will be my cluster 2 and this is going to be my cluster 3 then uh, I'm going to use the same thing like a plt dot title x label y label and then show I'm just taking okay so let me run and check this see uh, okay so here i have forgot to change the 
color of the cluster so i'm just giving another color why i'm getting output like this uh, ah, okay sorry why i'm getting output like this is here i haven't changed it to 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 1 so that is why it is showing the same uh, thing okay See now I got the output. So as I told in the yesterday's class, so left hand portion and all, it has taken us one complete cluster, and right hand portion and all taken us another one complete cluster, and center portion has taken us the third cluster. Okay, I mean first cluster in the sense I have given for the first cluster blue, then second cluster is orange, third cluster is red. So right hand side part first cluster, left hand side part second cluster. And the center part is the third cluster. Okay. Suppose instead of giving three cluster, if I am giving five cluster, then let's see how many. I mean, how the output is changing. Okay. So if I am going to give five cluster as mentioned here, so cluster one represent customer with medium income and medium spending. Cluster two represent customer with high income and high spending. Third cluster represent customer with low income and low spending fourth cluster represent customer with high income and low spending and fifth cluster represent customer with low income and high spending okay so for that i am going to give number of cluster as five okay again i have to run this particular cell okay i have run it then this also i will comment so no need of these cells so i'm just deleting those cells okay so five cluster means again we have to give for the remaining two also so three we have already given so four and five we have to give so here also what we have to do after two we have to give three comma zero and then three comma one and instead of giving red color i can give a different color like green Okay, and here 4 comma 0, 4 comma 1, uh, blue color. Okay, I'm going to give blue color and I'm going to name it as cluster 4 and cluster 5. Okay, this is for our understanding. So, if I run this means, see how the cluster has been uh, properly divided. Okay, there is no any uh, improper splitting you can able to see. Okay, no any color is mixed with the, some other color. Here alone, red and uh, you know purple are almost overwritten, very close. Apart from that, all are having separate colors. No any overwriting colors or uh, color mismatching or uh, you know mixing of colors are not there. E, I mean properly divided clusters we can able to see from this particular data set. Okay. So this is what I try to show you in the yesterday's class, but unable to do. Okay. Then, so this is all about the hierarchical clustering. In today's class, we will see about our period uh, clustering method or we can see associative okay in unsupervised learning we will divide into two parts one is clustering means so another one is associative method in the associative method we use one algorithm that is nothing but the r period okay the algorithm name is r period so let me show okay so and the famous data set of this r period learning is market basket analysis okay so one small uh, what to say uh, introduction about this associative method is uh, suppose the recommendation system and all we have seen right uh, when you are purchasing one particular product uh, it will recommend you to purchase some other product also similarly uh, in um, supermarket and all if you are going means you will be thinking to buy one product uh, when you have reached to that particular point you will be seeing continuously products which tempt you to buy them also okay they will have some product which is related to each other uh, for example if you are planning to buy a bread okay next to the bread they will keep uh, butter jam those type of um, egg uh, 
like that if they are keeping means automatically what you will think okay i have purchased bread if i purchase uh, egg means i can put bread drum later if i purchase cheese means uh, i can make it uh, sandwich like that they are tempting to buy those product also so here this rpdr learning will help us to find them okay what is the possibility uh, or a recommendation like a recommendation it will say okay people who are buying a bread or any product uh, since it is a market market basket analysis it will recommend like uh, people who have purchased bread they, there is more possibility that they will buy a jam or a, a, a egg if it is non vegetarian means they will prefer egg if it is a vegetarian means they may be prefer the jam so like that some recommendation it is giving right uh, to increase the sales or any other case so that is what we called as our period method okay so the problem which you are going to see is market basket analysis okay so to identify the buying pattern to increase sales so for this what we will do is we will take the data set inside the data set what is going to be present is all the transaction what are all the item purchased by a customer okay those will be given as our data set based on that we are going to train our model and it is going to give you some uh, list of items okay whoever purchased this item possibly they will purchase this item also okay and then summary of the data set we will so here we will be having uh, 7500 rows and 20 columns okay then we are seeing about the algorithm so here we will divide it into two parts so lhs and rhs okay lhs means uh, antecedent rhs means uh, consequent so it is nothing but if okay lhs means if a person buys one product one what is the then the person will buy this product two then is nothing but the rhs part okay so in the top also i have given one example if a person is buying a bread means he may be buy a butter or if a person is buying bread and butter then there is a possibility he may buy ketchup also like that we have to predict the right and rhs part based on the lhs understood lhs the customer will buy based on the lhs we have to recommend a customer to buy okay what they will buy next okay what we can make them to buy next then what are all the measures we have to see okay to finalize the statement so first and foremost thing is support it signifies the popularity of an item popularity means uh, here also we have given the uh, formula for the finding the popularity or support of a particular item so in my example i have taken bread so support of bread i am asking means how i will find is total number of transaction of bread divided by total number of transaction suppose under ta transaction taken place in that uh, under transaction 50 customers has bought bread then what i will do i will divide 50 by 100 okay that is going to be my support value okay then i will have confident how much confident i am that a person a who has purchased item 1 and 2 will purchase the item 3 okay that is what we called as confident so significant the likelihood of butter purchased when the bread is purchased okay how much confident you are that a person bought a bread will purchase a butter so for that to find the confident of a bread and butter we have to find support of bread union butter divided by support of bread so support of bread union butter means what you will do number of transaction of bread and butter how many customers has purchased both bread and butter divided by how many customers has purchased the bread and butter by total number of transaction understood what i am trying to say in to find the confident of a bread and butter we have to find both confident i mean support of bread union butter divided by support of bread we know what is the formula for support of any item understood 
whether you able able to understand what i am trying to say union means both bread and butter we will take some person might have already purchased both bread and butter right that no no uh, here in support of bread union butter if a person has purchased only bread or only butter they will not come under this category they should bought both the things in same example like 100 transaction i have told right in the 100 transaction 50 people has bought bread in the 50 people 10 people might have bought both bread and butter in past scenario okay then i will take only 10 as my uh mm, support of bread union butter divided by support of bread when i come for support of bread i will take 50 because only bread i am going to check whether they have bought butter or ketchup anything that that is matter here okay so 10 by 50 like that i will put so i will get 1 by 5 some point value i will get right so that value i will call it as a confident so this much confident that a person who has bought a bread will always buy a butter okay then third thing we will see is lift value so when i say lift means so it is a based on boyson's theorem so there may be the equal probability of bread and butter which increases the confident okay sometimes uh, even number of bread and butter is there that time uh, our confident will say some uh, wrong value okay so to overcome that problem what we will do is we will go for the lift uh, concept okay or lift parameter we will check so to find the lift of bread butter so lift in the sense uh, recommendation like that you understand how much i can recommend this butter for the customer who has purchased the bread so for that the formula is support of bread union butter divided by support of bread into support of butter understood this time what we are doing uh, bread union butter we will buy i mean uh, we will calculate in this part confident part uh, whoever has purchased both bread and butter so in my example 10 persons has purchased both bread and butter right divided by support of bread whoever has purchased only the bread into support of butter whoever has purchased only the butter so those if i am calculating means i will get the lift value also okay then i want to find the conviction so when i say conviction in probability you might have seen a plus b is equal to 1 we will say so then if i want to find the value of b means what i will do i will do 1 minus a right what is the possibility of occurring the event if i am asking means i will find what is the possibility of not occurring this event and i will minus it with 1 so 1 minus not occurring event so it will automatically going to give number of possibility or probability that event will occur same thing here also we are doing we are finding 1 minus support of bread divided by 1 minus confident of bread butter okay so we have already know how to find the support of bread and how to find the confident of bread and butter previously we have already found right yeah. support of bread we got uh, 50 by 100 so which is 1 by 2 which is 50 percentage in percentage if you want to say means 50 percentage i can say and in case of confident i got 10 by 50 i think right so 10 by 50 means 1 by 5 again some point value will give both i will try to divide so again it is going to give some point value only ah uh, 1 by 5 means 25 percentage or 0.25 also you can say right so both if i am dividing means i will get another one value so that value i will call it as conviction value okay in algorithm we will have uh, the parameters okay from that we can take whichever uh, parameter you need 
the value it will calculate everything okay support it will calculate confident it will calculate lift everything it will calculate whichever you want to uh, take we can also manually give okay i want to give, uh, take lift value more than this okay support value more than that uh, confident value like for example there is all possibility it will check okay uh, it can take 10 percentage confident also it will show 100 percent confident 90 percent confident also it will show so it is up to us which confident level we have to choose more than 75 percentage we are getting means we can say okay this confident level we can take and that we can display to our user i will show you how it will actually work with some real time example okay how uh, these values are calculated and how we will take the value and how we will eliminate the remaining values everything we will see okay then we are having these steps to calculate so step one we have to find the frequency of each item okay how many times the same item is getting repeated bread seven times repeated uh, butter five times repeated ketchup four times likewise we have to find it for all the items present in our data set okay that is going to be our step one then my second step is going to be only taking the significant element which is items with count is more than or equal to the support threshold so we will specify the support how much more value is there we are specifying as three four like that means it will take the support value equal to or greater than the four okay we have to manually specify that then see here if you see means i add bread seven times butter five times ketchup four times and mayonnaise only one time and i have set the criteria more than three okay three or more than three means automatically minus will be uh, removed from my list because it is having only one time occurred in my entire transaction it has only occurred one time so no need to take that item into consideration okay that will be going to be my second step then in the third step what i will do is i will find the n so n is nothing but the number of items and r is equal to number of items in a group okay so this is the my formula n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial okay some six paths we have given like how many paths we can able to create those and all it is given like this that also we will see okay with the example if i'm showing means maybe you can understand then what we are doing is taking frequency of two item set so two item set means like a pair we are taking bread means what are all the uh, another item they may purchase for bread they can purchase butter for bread they can purchase ketchup for bread they can purchase jam if they are purchasing butter and ketchup we can suggest if they are purchasing jam again we can uh, suggest ketchup and butter means jam like that how many possibilities are there so here if you see means bread and butter four transaction has happened whereas when you take butter and jam a person has bought butter and jam is very less so here also i can set some uh, threshold value okay more than two uh, transaction is there means those uh, pair alone i need okay so if i do that means what will happen the jam and ketchup and uh, butter and jam will be removed from my list correct ah threshold we will give it in our uh, algorithm like how we are giving n estimate task like that how much support minimum lift maximum lift like that we will specify okay then only taking the significant two item set and removing the rest so again as i told i if i am taking two as my minimum value means then from two alone it will take remaining it will remove from my list so uh, jam and ketchup it will remove and butter and jam will be removed finally it will take only four possibility which is butter bread i mean sorry bread butter 
ब्रेड केचप ब्रेड जैम एंड देन बटर केचप ओके देन इन मे सिक्स स्टेप वॉट आई एम डूइंग इज टेकिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ थ्री आइटम सेट राइट नाउ वी हैव टेकन ओनली टू आइटम सेट राइट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू चेक इट फॉर थ्री आइटम सेट सो थ्री आइटम सेट मीन्स वॉट आई विल डू इज ब्रेड बटर इज देयर आई विल चेक हु आर एज परचेज ब्रेड बटर एंड केचप एंड ब्रेड बटर जैम ब्रेड बटर ओके अगेन केचप ब्रेड बटर ओके ऑलरेडी ब्रेड बटर केचप वन मोर सीनारी ऑल्सो विल कम राइट अंडरस्टूड वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से फर्स्ट आई एम टेकिंग ब्रेड एंड बटर ओके along with that second value if i am comparing means bread is already common in both the set so bread butter ketchup three set okay then i am going to the second uh, bread and uh, jam means bread bread same so bread butter and jam how many person has purchase or transaction has happened that i will check and last uh, pair do i need to go no need because already i have found the bread butter ketchup in the first set itself so finally i will get only two set okay bread butter jam set and bread butter ketchup set so here if you see means three transaction happened in bread butter ketchup whereas only two transaction happened in bread butter jam okay so obviously what you will do you will go for bread butter ketchup set only right so that is going to be my final output so finally i will say Whoever is purchasing bread, recommend butter and ketchup. If they are purchasing bread and butter, means recommend them ketchup. If they are purchasing butter and ketchup, means recommend them bread. Likewise, I will create all the possibilities for them. Okay. Otherwise, I will show the example. You may understand. Hmm. Okay. In fifth step. Uh huh. No, see, initially we have taken uh, taken two items set, right? So from the two items set, we got this four pair. From this four pair only, we are going for three items set. Three item in the sense, all combination we are trying to give. Won't be butter, ketchup, jam in three pair. Okay. so no one has purchased in that order uh, saurabh no one has purchased like butter ketchup and jam okay so if you are putting that scenario also you will uh, check with the actual transaction whether they have purchased or not if you are giving lesser threshold value means obviously you will remove it okay so i will show so that you can understand again then we will do the pre processing training and result of our data frame you will find so let me share the okay hope my uh, ppt is visible okay so this uh, method is known as mask mask market basket method okay so here assume that they are asking a question like where jam should be placed in the store to maximize their sales okay so obviously what you will say nearby bread if you are keeping means the sales will be increased okay and which item are frequently purchased together by the customer so those for these type of questions we can find the answer for from the rpd or learning okay see bread and milk one combination we can say or whoever is purchasing bread and milk there is a higher possibility they will purchase egg also okay M maybe for uh, bread omelet and then uh, milk we can put okay so uh, these are a sample transaction id and then the item purchased by them okay i have taken five transaction in the first transaction only two item they have purchased bread and milk in second trans sorry in second transaction bread egg and sugar okay and in third transaction milk sugar and jam fourth transaction bread milk sugar and jam in fifth transaction bread milk sugar eggs okay then so using this rpd algorithm frequently item set we will find okay 
then what is item set if you ask me is a set of item together is called as an item set like we are um, combining different uh, items into a single item right uh, here in the example it is given as milk bread and uh, egg so that is what we called as uh, item set so k item set means like how we are having k means uh, uh, here also how many items you have to create as a single set so in the mind map we have seen first we have taken only two item set then we have taken three item set if possible means we go for four five like that how many item set we can able to go the highest that much we will try to go okay then the frequency item set is a set of item that frequently appear together in a transaction data set such as milk and bread so milk and bread if you see means uh, in the first transaction also milk and bread was there uh, anywhere else they have used uh, in the fourth transaction also milk and bread was there in fifth transaction also milk and bread was there like that we will calculate okay the frequency and threshold value so minimum three times it has been occurred right so we can set the uh, threshold value as three okay when it is equal to or greater than three means choose those item like that we can do or here also an example is given if you are purchasing an uh, uh, pc in the online so there is a more possibility right uh, it will recommend you to buy a printer along with the pc or it will ask you to buy uh, speaker for those pc or at, at most it may ask you to buy an antivirus if you are uh, purchasing a pc or a software anything means it may recommend you to buy some antivirus software also so these are some of the example okay real time example where and all we can use this rpdoid learning okay so in the associative anal analytics um, when what are the rules are there okay so assume that you are a sales manager okay and customer bought a pc and a printer recently then what would you recommend to her next see there will be a question right to increase his sales even if you are uh, nowadays we are perform i mean purchasing uh, every product through online previously and all we used to go to shops right in that time what they will do they will not say whichever product you want they will not say the, that price and sell it to you if you came to i mean if you are going to buy some small pen means they will ask you to buy so many things okay, along with that some offer is there if you are buying two item means we will give one item for free uh, so like that they will tempt you to buy more items right same thing here also they have mentioned okay we have to make the customer to buy few more product so as a sales person what you will you will recommend next so for all this question associative review uh, will give you a proper recommendation okay so associative rules means to determine which item are frequently purchased together within the same transaction okay so formula also just now only we have seen right uh, so number of transaction in which a occurs divided by total number of transaction okay so support of a union b divided by support of a then you will find the confident value so this is going to be my support value okay so buys x comma computer buys x comma printer which means whoever has bought a computer what is the possibility that they will buy a printer okay this is just an example support is one person support is there and confident is 50 percent confident is there so confident here means 50 percent means that if a customer buys a computer there is a 50 percent chance that 
he or she will buy the printer also okay similarly one person support means the transaction under the analysis shows the computer and printer are purchased together okay where is, there is very less chance or less support that printer and, and computer are purchased together because most of them we will not purchase parallelly right if you are purchasing computer means maybe uh, we will purchase other items like keyboard mouse and all frequently we will purchase but printer whoever is need is there they only will purchase right similarly we can find for different scenario like if the person is buying a milk and sugar means what is the uh, support and confident that they will buy uh, bread also okay there is less confident is there but i'm um, sorry less support is there and 60% confident is there that they will buy they will buy bread along with the milk and sugar okay so let us see the uh, support count okay support count means number of times the particular item has been purchased here also two method is there one is joint step method we will say and another one is called pruning method uh, okay joint step means initially we will start with one item then we will to uh, take it to the pairs okay two pair item and then we will increase to three four like that increasing means we call it as joint step okay in case if you are joining these steps uh, for example item one is there two is there and item three is there okay three items you have joined so we will find the subset for this three item okay so if i say i1 i2 and then i1 i3 and then i2 i3 so these are all the possible combinations right so these possible combination we will find and we will compare it with the actual transaction whether the person who has purchased item 1 has person uh, purchased the item 2 item 1 and item 3 and item 2 and item 3 suppose there is no any transaction happened between item 1 and item 2 no one has purchased item and 2 and 3 together means then we can ignore those subset if you are ignoring any one subset means we will completely ignore this joint value also this process only we call it as pruning method okay that also i will show so no problem see here also they have i mean i have given this step scans the count of each item in our database if the candidate item does not meet the minimum support okay then it is recognized as a infrequent item okay if you are not frequently buying one product means why i have to recommend to a customer so it will consider it as an infrequent item and thus it will be removed so this step is performed to reduce the size of the candidate item set our main motive is to join the items and we have to remove the unwanted or infrequent items from our data set to reduce the uh, values okay okay so this is going to be my transaction uh, id so i don't need any transaction id but i need the list of item ids okay instead of specifying the item names here i have given the item id okay you can give any uh, um, you know meaning for this ids also for example item one means uh, we are talking about bread right so simply i am giving uh, whether it is right or wrong uh, we may not know so item two i am giving it as butter okay item three i can give it as uh, bread butter jam item 4 as ketchup okay then item 5 up five items only is there 1 2 3 4 5 items only is there so fifth item what i can take milk okay milk also i can take 
okay five items i have taken just for our understanding i have given names to those item id also okay these are the transaction now out of this as i told i am having only five transaction id now can you say what is the support count for all this uh, transaction i mean items all five items for item 1 what is the support count support count means how many times it has occurred item 1 has occurred 1 um, 2 3 okay so here one time occurred one two three four five and then six times it has occurred so i can put it as six similarly for i2 i3 i4 i5 if you are finding means this is how you will get the output six seven six two two okay so here itself we can say minimum support count itself two is there okay so i am going to set the support count as minimum support count not only support count minimum support count i am going to take it as 2 if anything less than 2 we have to remove we have to ignore okay so first step over as i have showed in the mind map first step over in next step what i have to do is so we have set the minimum support as 2 and now what I have to do? I have to create two item set, right? So I'm going to generate C2 candidate with L1. So this is going to be my L1, okay, list one. And based on this list one, I'm going to create two item set. So two item set, if I want to create, means what are all the possibilities are there? So, so many possibilities are there. See, five items is there, right? So, item one and item two, can I give? No. Same item, two times. Ah. So, from item one, I will check. Okay, item one, comma, item two. Okay, likewise, I will try for all the combination. Similarly, item two and item one, will I check? No need because already I have checked for item 1 and item 2. So again item 2 and item 3 will check. 2 and 4. 2 and 5. Then when I come to third item means. 3, 4. 3, 5. When I come for 4 means. 4 and 5. That's all. Here also I will not use anything. Okay. So all possibilities we have to listed out here so if you are listing out means this is how i will get so from this i want to find the support count so here i will how i will find the support count is i will go to the actual transaction and then i will check whether these two items purchase together or not okay so this is my transaction that first diagram you have seen right so keeping this aside i am going to fill this support count value so now you say who are how many uh, has purchased item one and item two together one okay two three four so four persons has purchased the item one and item two together so my support count is four here Item 1 and item 3 means I, 1 time, 2 time. Here also item 1 and item 3 is there. So third, 4. Okay, so again 4 time. Item 1 and item 4. No, 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 no. Ah, here item 1 and item 4 purchased 1 time. So nowhere else they have been purchased item 1 and item 4. So only 1 time. So like this what I have to do, I have to find it for all the other possibilities. So in some cases it will be zero also and that also we will see. 
item 4 and item 5 is there right item 4 and item 5 anyone purchased so these and all will become 0 3 and 5 year 1 combination is there no other combination is there so it will become 1 3 4 nothing is there so 0 so like that i have to fill 1 no sorry 2 5 1 1 is there ah here also 2 5 is there so 2 times 2 4 so this person has purchased this person has purchased okay only 2 times then 2 3 here one purchase, person purchased here also one per person purchased it four times okay then one five here one five is there here also one five is there. so two times so like this i will find now again minimum support count how much you have given two so whichever values less than two we have to remove so less than two means we will remove this one this one this one this one okay all this will be removed okay so this is what we will get it as next step okay so these are the support count value and from this support count i have removed values which are less than two and i have created my new list so new list i am calling it as l2 okay then again what i have to do i have to go for three set then again same combination i have told you right now you may be understand it better when i am showing in the mind map maybe it is difficult to uh, visualize so this here you can easily visualize again we will not compare first two values right we will start from this and this so when i'm comparing means item one already exists so what i will do item one item two item three then if i combine this two means item one item two and item five here again item one item two item three is coming means no need to write okay here item 1 item 2 item 4 so we have to write then item 1 item 2 item 5 already is there so no need to write again we have to check it for this two item 1 item 3 item 5 whether it is present no then we have to write item 1 item 3 item 5 then this combination item 1 item 2 item 3 already is there so no need to write then this combination item 1 item so in this case alone item 1 2 3 4 is there so i am writing this but we have we will ask to take only three set combination only so we can ignore this case later next time we will do right uh, that time we can take this but just for your understanding i am taking okay this is also one set then final step if i go means item one item two item three item five so this also four step okay, item one item two item three and item five is there so like this do it for remaining also so if i do this means i will get this type of combination with three set okay so we have to take only three only after that only we have to go for four set so that's why i'm uh, ignoring the four set values okay so if i take only three set means this is what i will get it as my output okay one two three one two five one two four one three five uh two three four two three five two four five okay so for this i want to find the what i want to find the support count again i would so just a minute 
okay so if i find the support count means this will occur for i mean this is uh, older support count value right here what we have to do is we are taking three this time we are taking three item set right we have to find the subset okay for all three item set we have to find the subset with value i mean two we have to find okay for one two three what are the combinations are there uh one two one three and two three what we have to do is we have to check whether all the subset are present in our item set if it is present means we have to take that uh, three item set if not present means we have to simply remove this item set okay so all three are present 1 2 1 3 2 3 present and it is having a support count of more than 4 so i will take 1 2 3 3 whereas if i go for 1 2 2 5 5 5 i am creating a subset 1, 2, 1, 5, 2, 5. okay whether all three are present 1 2 is there 1 3 is uh, sorry 1 5 is there and then 2 5 5 also is there and all three are having greater than i mean 2 or greater than 2 so this also i will take whereas here if you see means 1 2 4 i have taken okay three set value and i am creating a subset 1 2 1 4 2 4 okay 1 2 is there 1 4 not there see 1 4 it is not there okay so if any one subset is not there also we should remove this three set okay like that we have to perform for all 1 2 3 4 8 8, 8 combination is there right 8 or 7 7 so we are having seven possibilities in that seven we have to find whichever is accepted which is whichever or not accepted as a three set value okay so this is nothing but the pruning uh, pruning i have told right we are having two things joining and pruning joining means previously what you have done that is joining step but now we have performed the pruning method okay to remove the unwanted uh, sets item set then after doing this this is what going to be our support count value okay so 0 1 all this i will remove because all this are having less than 2 so what we will get only two item set only we will get so for this two item set what i have to do again i want to perform four item uh, Okay. Okay. Just a minute. So four item set if I am performing means, sorry for that. Uh, for this two four item means uh, how it will come? Only one combination is possible, right? Uh, here also I will have one two three and one two five. Here also if I am putting one one two three. and then 1 2 5 means what will happen only one combination is possible this two i will not do this two i will not do right so i will get value as item 1 item 2 item 3 and item 5 okay so for this four item again i will do the pruning method so here two two subset for all possibilities so what are the possibilities are there again 1 2 then 1 3 1 5 likewise i will check for all the combination and i will check whether i will get uh, all the subset satisfied or not if suppose it is not getting satisfied any one subset also is not there means we should not take this right so what we will do is we will stop in the three uh, three combination itself okay we will not go for a four combination okay after that okay i have stopped with three combination means 
again we have to find the confidence this time we have found the support and we have taken the uh, item set for that particular item set we have to find the confidence for all the sub category here up until you get single item also we have to find okay what is the confidence of getting that particular item so here see confidence of getting item 1 and item 2 is there totally three item is there okay item 1 item 2 item 5 is there and i have taken item 1 and item 2 okay so item and item 2 if the person is buying what is the confidence that the person will buy item 5 okay so for this we have to put it in the formula 2 by 4 how i am saying 2 by 4 so entire transaction we have to check see 2 means item and item 2 how many of them purchased huh? see item 1 item 2 item 5 1 item 1 item 2 item 5 2 this is the 2 value 4 means how many of them purchased item 1 and 2 1 2 uh, 3 4 that is what 2 by 4 so 50 percentage of the chances that whoever has purchased item 1 and 2 will buy item 5 likewise we have to perform for all the combinations ok so this is my con confidence level here also what I can do I can set some minimum confident okay so if i am finding the minimum confidence means i can set like more than 70 percentage is there means i can choose them so minimum some 70 means only these three confidence i will take so whoever is purchasing i will not recommend these and all i will not recommend only a person person purchasing item 1 and 5 i will recommend item 2 if they are purchasing item 2 and 5 means i will recommend item 1 if they are purchasing only item 5 then i will recommend both item 1 and 2 vice versa like 1 and 2 if i am purchasing means 5 will recommend if they are purchasing 5 means i will recommend 1 and 2 like that i can set the confident ok so minimum threshold i have given as 70 percentage so it is clear for you all hmm? we are combining two two set three set in the join method in the pruning method from the combined set we are creating subset and then we are checking whether that subset is actually present in the transaction or not uh, more than two uh, more than two if you are going means we have to do that to find the confident you have to go for all the subset even one item also we have to take and then you have to find the confident okay that is the difference more than two if you are going means uh, we have to do pruning for each uh, process okay and and so after some point of time you cannot perform like we have seen right when i am taking four uh, four pair set uh, that time uh, one uh, some subset may not be available that time i should shop with three itself okay understood everyone so i am stopping the class here i will uh, do the program in tomorrow's class for this also program is there okay and it will be a little bit different from other uh, uh, algorithms which we have done in previous and all what we have done we have tried to change the string value into uh, numeric value right but in this case we will not convert the string value to numeric value as it is we will pass into our uh, algorithm and we will perform this confident and other things okay i think uh, i am taking more than uh, okay already one hour i have completed if you want means i will uh, show you the program also otherwise uh, tomorrow the vt will be ready so i will do the program in vt itself okay okay tomorrow only because vt also down so tomorrow i will uh...
okay then thank you all see you in tomorrow's class